NXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2020, Question 9. Figure 2 shows a sketch of the curve C with equation y equals f of x, where f of x equals 4 times x squared minus 2 times e to the minus 2x. For part A, we need to show that f dash x equals 8 lots of 2 plus x minus x squared times e to the minus 2x. So we've got our function f of x. We can see that this is two functions of x multiplied together. There's the 4, x squared minus 2, and there's the e to the minus 2x. So we're going to use the product rule. So let's differentiate both of those separate functions. Differentiating 4 lots of x squared minus 2. Well, this is the same as differentiating 4x squared minus 8. The 4x squared becomes 8x. The 8 disappears. So we're just left with that 8x. Differentiating the second part, the e to the minus 2x, the minus 2 comes down. The power remains the same. So we get minus 2e to the minus 2x. Now using our product rule, we get that f dash x equals the differentiation of the first part, 8x, times by e to the minus 2x. Add the differential of the second part, the minus 2e to the minus 2x, times by the original first part. Simplifying this gives us 8x e to the minus 2x minus 8 lots of x squared minus 2 e to the minus 2x. We can see that both of our terms here have got 8 and e to the minus 2x, so let's factorise them out, which gives us 8 lots of x minus brackets x squared minus 2. This is all times by e to the minus 2x. Simplifying that bracket gives us 8 lots of 2 plus x minus x squared times by e to the minus 2x as required. Part B, hence find in simplest form the exact coordinates of the stationary points of C. The question says hence find, so we're going to use part A, where we worked out that f dash x equals 8 lots of 2 plus x minus x squared e to the minus 2x. At a stationary point, the gradient is 0, so setting this equal to 0, we can see that e to the minus 2x can't be equal to 0. So for this all to be equal to 0, it must be the brackets that are equal to 0. So 0 equals 2 plus x minus x squared. Rearranging this, we get x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. Well, this factorises to x minus 2, x plus 1. Hence, x must equal minus 1 and 2. We're going to put these back into f of x to find the corresponding y coordinates. So when x is minus 1, y is going to be equal 4 lots of the square of minus 1, minus 2, times by e to the minus 2 times minus 1. Well, that's going to be 4 times minus 1 for the bracket, times e squared, which is minus 4e squared. When x equals 2, again putting this into f of x, y is going to be equal 4 lots of 2 squared minus 2, times e to the minus 2 times 2. So the bracket 2 squared minus 2 is 2, so we get 4 times 2 times e to the minus 4, which equals 8e to the minus 4. So our coordinates, therefore, are minus 1, minus 4e squared, and 2, 8e to the minus 4. The function g and the function h are defined by g of x equals 2 times f of x, x is in the real numbers, and h of x equals 2 times f of x minus 3, for x larger than or equal to 0. Firstly, we need to find the range of g. So we've got our stationary points for f, so minus 1, minus 4e squared, and 2, 8e to the minus 4. Looking at f, we can see that it lies between the minimum, which is the minus 4e squared, but then goes up to infinity on the far left of our sketch. So g is also going to go up to infinity, it doesn't have an upper bound. Its minimum bound is going to be double the one for f of x, because g of x equals 2f of x. So 2 times minus 4e squared is minus 8e squared. So the range of g is minus 8e squared to infinity. Note that we've got the square bracket on the left to show that it can equal minus 8e squared. But we've got the round bracket on the right because it can't actually equal infinity.
Part two, we need to find the range of h. Now for h, x is larger than or equal to zero. So for that part, f of x would lie between f of zero and our other stationary point, the maximum at eight e to the minus four. So let's find f of zero. Putting that into our equation for f, we would get four lots of zero minus two times e to the zero, which is minus eight. So f of x lies between minus eight and eight e to the minus four, when x is larger than or equal to zero. H of x is two times f of x minus three. So for each of our bounds on the left and the right, if we double them and take away three, we then get that h of x lies between minus 19 and 16 e to the minus four minus three. So our range is these two values, but in square brackets, because it can equal them. So minus 19 and 16 e to the minus four. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.